we have had some questions on how to access uh, speech to text on AWARE. Um, so I'm just gonna show you um, how you can have your students access that. So when you're on this question where they will need to be typing, um, if you have set the accommodation for speech to text, you may get this. And if it works, awesome, I would use it. Um, but some of us may get the error. There was an error processing speech to text. If that happens, don't stress out about it. This is the workaround that you'll wanna use and that most of us will probably have to use. So um, when you have your students, um, when they're at this question, they'll need to click inside the box. They'll need to fold their Chromebook into a tablet. And once they're in a tablet, this is the most important part because it could get very frustrating um, because it won't just pop up automatically. You will need to have them touch inside the box. And then now you're able to see your uh, keyboard. This is what you want them to have. Now, um, the next thing they'll need to do is you'll see the old microphone. When I click on my microphone, it doesn't show what yours will the first time, but the first time you do it, it'll say you're using writing dictation and it says, got it. All you have to do is just press got it. Mine doesn't have that because I've already been getting on this quite a bit. So it's already um, told me that warning. So right here, I have it clicked ready to go. When I click the microphone, it is going to begin recording. It catches your voice pretty well, and it does actually um, let you say period, question mark, exclamation mark. So if they need to um, have any punctuation, which they need to, of course, um, you can let them know that they can say that. But I want you to see how that looks because the students need to be aware that they actually, when they say period, that it puts the period and doesn't write the word period. So um, once they hit the mic, mine, once again, you're going to see it just starts to catch it. Um, the first time you use this, you'll have to press got it, and then you'll have to press this blue button to get it going. Um, you can see that I'm pretty far away from the Chromebook, um, and it's catching every word I'm saying. Now, if you watch right here, I'm going to use punctuation, and you can see how it pops up. Period. So I've paused it when I hit that, it pauses it, but you can see it used punctuation when I said period, but in that video, you should have seen where it says period and then it switches it to a period. So just have your students really pay attention to what it's doing as you're speaking, because it will actually let you do your um, punctuation. In order for the students, if you, if you tell them to do a few sentences at a time or however you have your students um, speaking, um, that's how they're gonna pause it is hitting that blue button. If they need to make any changes, this is where they need to go. So they go to their little keyboard and now they're able to click and then backspace. Oh, that wasn't spelled correctly or I didn't mean to say um or for me say like a lot um, and they can change it. And then you just need to let them know to go back to the end. And in order to start typing again, they're going to go back to their microphone. As soon as I click that microphone, it's going to catch it again. So you can see right here. It is catching what I'm saying, question mark. I can keep going from here, period. So that's how they're gonna do it. When they're done with their typing, you can um, just tell them to unfold it. Sorry for this, I'm doing it one-handed. Um, and then now it's ready to go. They can edit from here. They can now have their, um, keep their external external keyboard keyboard again and now they're back in this um form just a reminder any student can do this so you just really need to make sure that you are um actively monitoring and making sure students who do not have speech to text are not trying to do this because then they're going to get used to trying to do speech to text when they will not have that on their star test um so just a reminder this is if your students have speech to text um, if you have this microphone, it's going to be frustrating because you're going to think it's going to work and hopefully yours does, but if it doesn't and it has an error like mine did, you will need to do this process to, um, have that internal keyboard and be able to use the speech text from there. I hope that helps and just email me if you have any questions.